Hi, I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from one of our subscribers. We need to find limit when x approaches square root of 2 for square root 7 minus 2x minus within brackets square root 5 minus square root 2 divided by x square minus 10. Now if I substitute square root 10, we get 0 there in the denominator and I substitute square root 10 here in that case, if you calculate numerator is also zero right so so what we really observe here is that it is a form of zero by zero so we could actually find the limit by rationalization so let's rationalize and then figure this out we have to find limit when x approaches square root of 10 and we have square root of 7 minus 2x minus square root of square root 5 minus square root 2 over x square minus 10. So we'll multiply and divide by square root of 7 minus 2x plus square root of 5 minus square root of 2 over square root of 7 minus 2x plus square root of 5 minus square root of 2. So that will give us a limit x approaches square root of 10. Square of this will be 7 minus 2x minus square of all this, which is square root of 5 minus square root of 2 whole square, right? And the denominator is we could factor this also we'll do that later or we can do it now x plus square root of 10 times x minus square root of 10 and all this so square root of 7 minus 2x plus square root of 5 minus square root of 2 okay so let's um, calculate this on the side and then we'll rewrite here so so square root of 5 minus square root of 2 whole square will be a square which is 5 minus 2 a b so 2 times square root of 10 plus b square which is 2 so this is equal to 7 minus 2 square root And that is why we got 0, right, in the numerator. 7 minus square root 10. If I put square root 10 here, 7 minus square root 10, when you take it away, you get 0. Okay. So, let us substitute. So, we get limit. x approaches square root of 10. We have 7 minus 2x minus 7 minus 2 square root of 10 over all this x plus square root 10 times x minus square root 10 times square root of 7 minus 2x and uh, this one is uh, we could actually also write this 7 minus 2x as uh, I mean, square root of 5 minus square root of 2 could be written as square root of 7 minus 2 square root 10. Do you see that? So, so we could write this as plus square root of 7 minus 2 square root 10. Does it make sense to you? So, we replaced, we wrote square root of 5 minus square root of 2 as equal to square root of 7 minus 2 square root 10 from here right so let me extend this simply because we are going to insert square root 10 for x right so it makes sense correct okay so what we get here is limit x approaches square root of 10 and uh, the numerator 7 and 7 cancels 
So we have minus 2x and this minus and minus becomes plus 2 square root of 10 over all this which is x plus square root 10 x minus square root 10 and within brackets we have square root of 7 minus 2x plus square root of 7 minus 2 square root 10. Now we can take 2 common right so so we get x we want x minus 10 let's take minus 2 common so we get x minus square root of 10 and here we have limit x approaches square root of 10 x plus square root of 10 times x minus square root of 10 and we have square root of 7 minus 2x plus square root of 7 minus 2 square root 10 so x minus 2 uh, I mean x minus square root 10 and x minus square root 10 cancels so that was giving us 0 over 0 right so you realize how we got 0 over 0 here now so now we can substitute x equals to square root of 10 right so we get minus 2 over square root of 10 plus square root of 10 this is the first factor the second one got cancelled and we have square root of 7 minus 2 square root 10 plus square root of 7 minus 2 square root 10 I mean right so so that gives us minus 2 over this is 2 square root 10 times and this is 2 times square root of 7 minus 2 square root 10 correct okay. so you could cancel one of the twos right so that is your uh, final answer but you could write uh, this number as uh, uh, <coughs> square root 5 minus 2 right you could write like that also so that is what we get so you could write this as minus 1 over 2 square root 10 And uh, this portion could be written as, within brackets, square root 5 minus square root 2. Correct. Okay. Writing in the form which we already began with. Correct. Okay. So either way, you could write down your answer. So I hope uh, the solution is absolutely clear. The idea is, when you have these kinds of square roots, we could square them and then square root them, and we'll find that, we get a factor which is similar to the previous factor which results into zero so so i hope all the steps are absolutely clear some tricks involved here when you rationalize you need to work with these uh, radicals and those manipulations help you to get the right solution you may or may not replace but it is uh, better to replace the final answer with what was given to us uh, the substitution which we made square root 5 minus square root 2 equals to square root of 7 minus 2 square root 10 could now be written as square root 5 minus square root 2 to give you the final answer so i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best